Today I want to talk about what it means to key a painting. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svob and welcome to my channel. I've been an artist and a teacher for over 30 years and I decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. If you stay with me on this channel, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. These two paintings I have here, I'm gonna use as an example. This one here is of Greece, but that's not important. What I mean by keying a painting is how to adjust what you're looking at so that it works for you as a value scale, a color scale, everything like that. So musicians key their instruments when they play on a stage or they play in a new area to hear what it sounds like. And visually, when you're a painter, you have to key your painting so you can adjust to the values under the light you have that day, whether you're painting indoors, in a studio, wherever you are, you've got to adjust to what's going on. So I will use my palette in many cases if I don't have anything else, and I will find some place in the painting that's very dark. Now in this case, in this painting, this is very dark, this is very dark, I've got several places. So that's a very dark value, and I decide that's as dark as I can get because I pick it up out of my palette, the paints I have there. Now, the lightest part of the painting, when I'm starting on a white canvas, I usually have the white to work from. So I've got, you know, something like this. This is not the light of the canvas, but it's very light. So when I have a dark and a light in my painting, I key the painting for the midtone. So the midtone, which is how dark or light something is, it's not about color, it's about value, but it's somewhere in between those two. Now it's easier if they're close together, so I'm gonna pick a spot where they're closer together. So I'm gonna go right in this area right here. Now if you see, this is a very dark value. It's almost the same as the darkest darks, but it's, it's very dark. And then I've got a very light value. Here it's white, here it's more of a yellow. But my mid-tone, I want to be somewhere in between that, about halfway between. So from the dark to the light, I've got this blue value here, or this blue color, and I want it to look like it's about halfway between the dark and the light. So when it's correct, it looks like it's not hanging around or close to the dark or close to the light. It's kind of in the middle. So once I have a pattern of lights, midtones, and darks in the painting, I adjust all my other values so that they look like they're closer to that value. So all my darks, be there wherever they are, they are close to the dark. At some point, I jump to a midtone. So this midtone, this color here, it's the same as this one here. It's not the same, but it's close. So they look like they're hanging around. And anywhere else in the painting where it's mid-tone, in here, in here, in here, wherever that is, my lights hang around. So I have a light yellow. I have a, a bit of a light yellow up here. I have a very light blue over there. I have a light gray. There are light values. And then my darks hang around. So in, in that way, I key the painting so that I have lights, mid-tones, and darks. I also key the painting for color. So usually what I do is I will start out in my paintings with a warmer overall tone, and then I will start putting cooler colors into the painting. So in this one, the cooler colors, you know, the blues, the sky blue or powder blue or whatever name you want to call it, it doesn't matter, they play off all the warm colors. So I've got very warm, somewhat warm, to very cold, all the way through. Okay, so I key the color, and I key the value. I've just got one more example here I want to show you. It's a little bit different, but the same idea. Okay, so this one again is keyed light to dark. The lightest value, very light, very light. The light's hanging around together all the way down to the darkest values. There's a fair bit of dark in this one. And then the midtones. So I group by value and then I group by color. In this one, um, Warm, 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 and then the cools play off that. This is a warm gray in here. But that's the way you key your painting. You key it for color, you key it for value, and once you've got it established in your painting, which I like to do early on, you follow that pattern through the rest of the painting. One of the most common problems artists have 
with what I've seen over the years is they try to do too many subtle value changes, too many subtle color changes, and they try to squeeze more and more in, when in reality what you want to do is you want to push things one way or push them the other. You want to push them towards the light, the mid-tone, or the dark, and then painting will read better, which means it's keyed better. I hope you found this information useful. Now, I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching.